got for me? See this? Bullet hole. Well, two actually. But look below the surface. The angle of entries, they declare that the shooter was left-handed. Well, unless, of course, it was a right-handed person holding the gun in his left hand. Powers. Yeah, Paul. His daughter's upstairs in one of the rooms. Do you want to question her now, or do you want to wait till later? Miss Thornhill. I'm Detective Clint Powers. I want to assure you that I am going to do everything in my power to catch your father's killer. But I'm gonna need your help. I need to know everything that you saw. Every last detail. Uh, it was dark. I was on the second floor when I saw him pass. Then a shadow followed. At first I thought it was Valerie. Valerie? Archer. My father's... his... She's half his age. But the figure was much larger. Husky. It all happened so quickly, I couldn't even muster a scream. I couldn't even warn him if I thought... Now, only... if you would have made a sound, chances are you'd be dead too. I'm pretty sure your father wouldn't have wanted that. Now, can you think of anybody would have a reason to go after him? When you're rich, that's reason enough. She would continue to talk for over an hour, first pointing the finger at her father's young lover, Miss Valerie Archer, and then towards Joseph Sebastian, a rival collector who had recently threatened Thornhill in public. What was the piece? A mummified monkey's paw. According to her, it wasn't worth that much. Thanks for your help, Miss Thornhill. Victoria. Victoria. I'm sorry. I don't care if you're sorry. You probably did this to my father. She's a cutie. Too bad I don't trust her. Then again, I don't trust anyone. Threaten Thornhill in public. Who does that before killing someone? Charles was cheap. Kill him and get the money from the will? No. Always looking for the hardest fit. If you're thinking it's daddy's little girl, we just gotta notice. Charlie never finished his will. Everything he owned is being contested by some greedy relatives. It's gonna take years before anyone sees anything. Maybe she wasn't even his daughter. You know how these rich families are? Everybody's always fucking each other. <laughs> I love the intrigue and the mystery of the job. It's too bad the pay sucks. So tell me, why would a dame like you be with Grandpa? With love, age has no bounds. You mean with love of money? Charlie was worth a lot more to me alive than dead. Explain. I get nothing in his will. Nothing. His bitch daughter was quick to cut me off. Unless... You knew Charles was gonna cut you off. So you murdered him. And on the way out... You took something. Maybe a monkey's paw? As if I would even know where to find it. Charlie was not one for trust. Would he have told Victoria where it was? Trust me when I tell you that Charlie Thornhill would not have told a soul. But if you happen to find the paw, I'd be more than happy to share the money with you from selling it.
Uh, look, I have a visitor. Yeah. Yeah, I'll call you later. Okay, bye. Mr. Powers, I've been expecting you. Welcome to the Sebastian Family Antique Shop. Been in my family four generations, you know. I assume you know why I'm here. Charlie was murdered. What a sad, cruel world. I would assume that his number one competitor would also be his number one suspect. And this is? My alibi. Signed by witnesses and looked over by my lawyer. Your alibis were jack shit to me. You see, high-priced killers, they never do it themselves. They always hire somebody else to do the dirty work for them. Now, why would you kill a man over a morbid piece of monkey that's only worth a few grand? Market value means nothing to me. It's all about the object and the person, what it means to them. I'd pay up to two million for the mythical poor. Collectors are a weird bunch. We keep our most prized items as close to us as possible. Closer than friends, closer than family. Well, what's so special about the poor? Well, legend has it that the story was based on truth. That a mummified monkey's poor granted three men three wishes of their desire. Thanks for your time. Like I have time for storytelling. Standard procedure. Everybody's guilty until proven innocent. I know you don't trust me, but I was wondering if there was something you could do about my safety. I just... Force is shorthanded right now. There's no way I can spare an officer for your, uh, personal guard. Even you? Even me. This might make you feel a little more safe. You want to wear it close and uh, tight to the body. You wouldn't want them going straight for your head. Although, you do have to watch your back. The guy that designed this thing likely never had to wear one. Else he would have known that uh, the thing that needs the most protecting is your back. Thank you, Clint Powers. keep our most prized items as close to us as possible. Closer than friends, closer than family. Turns out you left the station two minutes too early. I believe I know who killed you and where he kept the paw. Meet me at the mansion. I'm very impressed. 
You do very good work, Mr. Powers. Well, I've been looking for the easy answer. You've been my number one suspect. Thank you for doing what I couldn't do. Place it on the mantle and step away. Just out of curiosity, how'd it feel to have that old pervert inside of you? How'd it feel to be with him for so long, just to get cut off and slapped in the face? I don't think so. He should have taken his own advice and watched his back. Good timing. Oh, I see you found our trust fund. You girls just made my afternoon. Before Dad would write his will, he wanted me to take a blood test. Too bad we didn't share the same blood. Was I a suspect? My one and only. I love the intrigue and the mystery of the job. It's too bad the pay sucks.